What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, welcome. I'm Barbas. So we're gonna continue where we left off. So basically, what I'm gonna do now is pull the remainder of the exhaust system all the way to the back. And then I'm gonna go ahead and drop the motor, whatever's left in the transmission, and slide her out from underneath the car. Um, I have the front bumper zip tied on each side. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. And then I'm gonna jack up the car and remove that exhaust system. <laughs> All right, so I got the exhaust system off. It's right here, completely out. And the next thing I gotta do is release the shift linkage, which is right over here somewhere. Let's see if I can show you guys. It's right here, right there. I gotta release those bolts. A little bit closer right there. So I know that that one's a pain to take off, but it has to come off. Um, and then after that, I gotta release this right here that goes through my transmission, get it off. And then after that, it's just the motor mounts. All right, so. I ended up moving all my jack stands all around because of the fact that I need to crawl underneath the car to get the shift linkage off. Um, I went ahead and I loosened up a bolt that was under there. It was a number 12 and I'm about to hit the, the bitch pin. I'm gonna try to pop it out with maybe this one or this one. All right, so the only thing left to do is to take these two off, this one, See it in there? I gotta take these two off. I gotta take these off that are right here. I already pre-loosened everything. And in the back, there was two down here. I took those two off. And I'm gonna release this one. That's right here. Let me see, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna release that one that's right here. And the motor should drop. All right, so I went ahead and I dragged the motor off to the side and I put my Civic back together real quick. I've slapped the bumper, the grill, threw the tire back on. So like I said before in my other videos, I want to keep it looking like there's nothing really going on in my house over here. I don't want the city messing with us. So now that I got the motor out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all these bolts off that go around the transmission and separate the transmission from the short block. 
So that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, so I went ahead and I separated the transmission. I got it right here. And I brought the rest of it over here. It all has to be disassembled. All this stuff needs to come off. Um, the clutch needs to come off. Pistons, everything needs to come off. So I think I'm just gonna store it in here with my other motor I got the head up here and then that was the spare motor that was inside the car I threw it in here I'm gonna bring that and store it in here for now and we will start this assembly shortly in the next few days and also I want to take this transmission and clean it up really good because you guys can see how nasty it looks All right, you guys, so I'm inside the house. Before I finish this video, I wanna go ahead and show you guys um, some of the parts that I got in the mail already. So these are the parts that you guys saw me order. I'm sorry about the lighting in here, but maybe I could open this door. Get some more light in here. So basically, these are the parts that we ordered. Um, so let me start with the turbo. This was the turbo that I ordered. It's from Max Speeding Rods. It came, it came in a pretty good box, packaged really nicely, already assembled. Came with these gaskets right here. Um, I did notice that this turbo right here has like a few little tiny tiny scratches I don't know what that's about also I noticed that there's a scratch on the inside I'm not sure if it's a scratch or if it's something that you can just like rub off but let me see if you guys can see it right there so I don't know, I'm not sure what it is. I gotta mess with it. Um, yeah, so that's the turbo right there. This right here is a top mount turbo manifold. And I am very, very, let me tell you, I'm very satisfied with this. It's very heavy, heavy duty. It feels like like this will outlive a bunch of turbos. Like it, it feels pretty heavy. Like this is worth what I paid for. The next thing that I ordered was, let me see, was my pistons. This is how it came. It came in a box. Actually it came in a giant envelope. Let me get this open real quick. So these are the ones that are coated on the side. All right, sorry. I was having problems holding the camera and opening this. But check it out. I'm also very satisfied with these. These were a good buy.
Spoon rock. All right, so that's that. I got my bearings, king bearings, thrust washers. The rings, OEM filter, and underneath it all is the oil pump. This was all a kit, all these right here that I ordered. We are gonna go ahead and shim this to increase the oil pressure a little bit. And then, oh, this also came with it. It's like a complete gasket, a whole set with everything. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be running this head, head gasket. I mean, we could try, I don't see why not. If anything, you swap it out. Then the next thing that I ordered was my XCD. I believe it was stage four. It came with this. This is a throwout bearing, I believe. I think the one that's in the Civic right now, that's in the transmission, is actually bad. Every time I would let go of the pedal, you can hear it. And whenever I would step on the pedal, the noise would go away. we have over here the other part of it XCD it smells like paint I don't know if they like painted this really quick and then shipped it out to me or what happened but I could smell paint fumes still on this and then it also came with this right here I believe it's like an eight pound flywheel something like that ten pounds I don't know I'd have to go back through the videos to see what it is lightweight flywheel I still gotta order some more parts um, I think this is going to be the end of the video. My next video will probably be this assembly and we're going to be ordering some more parts that we need. So this is going to be it. I'll catch you guys next video.